Before, okay, discussing of anything, I want to know who is me to before coming to Australia. <laughs> Back in India. So, what is your background like? I heard like your, your background is from, you know, uh, you worked in several TV channels back in India and all. So yes. can you please explain a bit more? So my background is uh, 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 filmmaking. Mm -hmm. um, so I uh, studied in uh, Hindu college at Delhi University. And um, in fact, Imtiaz Ali was my classmate and he and oh. me both were toppers in first year. So we <laughs> still each other, call each other topper. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, I went into film school in Bombay. And that was really good because when we were interning in film school, suddenly the skies opened. And from having one and a half Doordarshan and Doordarshan Metro channels, we had 52 channels. So it was a great uh, time for uh, young filmmakers like me because um, it wasn't as commercial, the, the uh, television industry in India, because mm. uh, it wasn't, everyone was not chasing TRPs and ratings. Um, we had a lot of freedom that if you had a good idea, we could just walk to our uh, programming head and say, I want to do, this is the budget. And we would do that. And I uh, directed a number of travel shows um, and I directed a documentary which was about the impact of violence on the children in Kashmir, which uh, UNICEF then picked up and sent as their uh, um, official entry for the Emmy Awards and it did a lot of festival run so I think it was a really like the golden age for yeah. all of us because um, we were just uh, driven by the purity of creativity and purity of an idea rather than uh, analyzing what will work what will not work because it was a new uh, canvas yeah. blank canvas right. um, so that was really good. Then I got married to a New Zealander uh, and who oddly enough was in India mm. and uh, that's where we had met and you know that's what they say never say never because right through the time that we were dating I was always like I'll never leave India and, <laughs> but then we got married and uh, he got a really good job offer here so we moved to Melbourne. <laughs>